Okay, so let's talk blend shapes. Blend shapes and lattices, that is. So, let's say you've got your original mesh. And you want to make a blend shape. I just so happen to have a duplicate of that sphere that I just modified a little bit to act as a blend shape. So, of course, normally you can add your blend shape just by selecting the target and then selecting the original object to receive that as a blend shape. And so how do you do that? Of course it's create deformers, blend shape, option box. Usually with your blend shapes you want to name the node. Right here. Also you want to make sure you go to advanced and set your deformation order to parallel as opposed to default. Default uh, would basically cause the shape to... you'd only be able to use one blend shape or blend target form at a time. So parallel actually allows you to actually blend them together and use multiple shapes to create different expressions or different forms from one set of blend shapes. So, uh, what we're going to do here is instead of using this panel, I really don't use this panel that much anymore, uh, you tend to use Window, Animation Editors, and Blend Shape. And so you pretty much select the target, select this, the original source, and tell it to create Blend Shape, and it automatically assigns it as Parallel. So if I added more blend shapes, it wouldn't have a problem actually mixing them together. Now, actually, you want to see about creating blend shapes. If you wanted to create blend shapes, instead of doing it the standard way where you'd actually select your, make your duplicate of the, of the mesh, and then, of course, start pulling points or deforming edges or faces to actually reshape the surface. Remember, you, you need to use components to do it. Uh, what we could do instead is actually use a lattice to make those changes because it is it, it a lattice will be affecting these same things. It will be affecting the edges, it will be affecting the faces, not the containing object that actually has all the uh, translation scale and rotation on it. So right now I've got two blend shapes. Get, uh, it's usually a good thing to get in the habit of naming them, so automatically name some of your nodes on the uh, sub-levels once you actually start applying it as blend shapes. I'm going to call this one, I don't know, pine, as in pine cone. So, let's say I had a duplicate of my sphere now, and I wanted to make blend shapes. Instead of just editing the components myself, I wanted to do something that maybe might turn out a little more organic, or might be a little faster to handle. Just create a duplicate of your sphere. Let me get this window out of the way for a second. Duplicate of your sphere. And under Create Deformers, you want to choose Lattice. By default, mine is set for about for two, two, and two divisions uh, for the options for the lattice, which you can always go into the history and change. So in this case, I will increase it to about, let's say, four divisions in every angle. Uh, make a few changes here, not to the mesh inside, but to the lattice by choosing lattice point. So let's make a couple of new blend shapes here. So I'm going to deform it there and there. All right. And so maybe I'll call this one bean because it's starting like a bean here. So I'll do some deformation here as well. I'm being a little sloppy with this, which is fine. So now I select the mesh inside of the lattice, and I control D or Apple D for an amount. And so then we have a deformed version of the original mesh. And I'll make one more, just for good measure. And so I'll just take these points in the center and just pull them straight up like this. Okay. And... Or Apple D. So now we have two more blend shapes, or blend targets, as I like to call them. And I'll call this a bean, because it kind of looks like a bean to me, like Jack on the Beanstalk bean. And this one I'll call a uh, cone head, because it kind of reminds me of the cone heads from the old Saturday Night Live skit, or the movie that came out later. Alright, so we've got our original sphere. I'm going to delete history on it so it doesn't have this uh, previous blend shape appearing on it. And so I like to use the, the blend shape panel from the animation editors just because it allows me to apply all my blend shapes at once and add them as sort of one blend shape node, which makes them a heck of a lot easier 
to work with, especially if you're going to plan on animating them from the blend shape panel. So I select all of my blend targets, as I call them. I'm going to shift select my source geometry, basically the original mesh, and go to edit, create blend shape. It adds them all as one blend shape node, which I can also go into and name from the channels box if I want to call it, uh, I don't know, sphere blends or something like that just to be specific. And as you can see, we can see all their uh, all their attributes available for modification there. And we can also do it from the blend shape panel. So, if I focus on the sphere that we're working with, let me pull back a little bit so we can see the changes. I can actually add bean, I can add cone head, I can add cone, I can add pine cone. Okay, or I can actually blend them together. And that's because it automatically blends them using parallel. So I can make a lot of other blend shapes this way. So let's say I wanted to make that new one. I'll call that one a pine cone, I guess, because it's a combination of the cone head and the pine and a couple others, actually. So I'm just going to select the original geometry, which is currently in this shape. And I'm going to the, duplicate it. I'm going to pull this off to the side. And I actually want to add that as a blend shape. I'm going to go back to my original mesh. I'm actually going to turn everything off here. I don't think I have to, but I'm going to do it just in case. I'm going to select my new blend target. Call it Pine Cone, capital C, just to make it stand out for myself. Shift select my target, go to Edit Deformers, Blend Shape, and I'm just going to say Add, and go to the Option box, and make sure it knows that I'm specifying the node it's going to be added to. And so that node's going to go to Sphere Blend, because I don't have anything else with uh, Blend Shape nodes on there. I'm going to say add and close and so you see to add it to the list there and now I have that as an additional blend shape alright and so that's pretty much creating blend shapes and using lattices to create blend shapes and apply them now if you actually want to clean things up a bit but keep all of your blend shape sources and blend targets just in case you need to make modifications because they are all still physically connected you can create a layer by going to your channels boxes, tell it to create a layer from selected. So if you have them selected, it'll add them to the layer automatically. You can name your layer and just switch it off. Put it away for later if you need it to make modifications. And just to make those modifications, just for so that you're clear on this. Um, let's say I had cone head, right? Let's see, I find cone head in my blend targets here. So this one right here. I decide that I want to make that head a little taller. So I can just come in here and select whichever vertices I want to affect. I could scale them away from each other. And as you can see, it's updating automatically on our cone over here on our sphere. See that? Update it right away. And once you're done with those, of course, you could always delete them. And all their history would still remain on here. And you could reproduce all of those objects just by duplicating the original once it's been shifted into one of your blend target modes. And so that's blend shapes and lattices. I hope that helps and answers any questions that you may have. If not, you know where to find me.